everyone how's it going it's been a few weeks from our last video hope you're all eagerly awaiting to see what we have uh, planned for today and uh, yeah look apologies life yeah I've had a few stag days a few trips a few different things so uh, there's been a bit of a delay on the videos but hopefully we can get one for you today plan of attack today is we're gonna try and catch a few fish on crankbaits or hard baits. Um, I also have um, a few top otters as well which I haven't tried yet which uh, could be pretty good. Um, it's quite overcast so potentially would be a, a good shout. And uh, yeah just glad to get back on the bank and hopefully get a few fish. Um, so yeah let's get cracking. Okay first cast. What a, what a lure. Uh, haven't seen what this thing is like in the water. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> that is outstanding. Savage gear does it again. So, first official cast with the Savage gear snake. Will it be as good as the rat? That's the question. I sort of toyed with the idea of putting a like a five or a ten gram Cheberesca weight onto the front of it and sinking it down a few feet. It'll almost fish like the like the hard eel. But that is awesome. Absolutely insane. Wonder what it's like with the weed. That has to work. There's a bit of wind coming right into my face here. It's just making accurate casting just not as accurate. So you get a serious wiggle off that lure. So I think you just need to try not to reel it too fast. Yeah, I have confidence we'll get one in that, that's for sure. Cast quite nice as well. Really nice, actually. Okay, what will we use? Give the snake a few chucks. I do like the look of it, I have to say. But I'm just, don't think it's the right conditions for it. Let me go try, uh, Gravity twitch. If I can get it on the clip, that is obviously. So, this is the Gravity Twitch 95. Good at hooking fingers, it seems. So, there's a bit of weed that has come up. So, I need to bring the lure in quite quite quick just before it gets up close otherwise we'd just be pulling weed off our hooks constantly Okay, we'll give us a bit of a rattle. It is a 3D river roach. Fishing it with a seven gram jig head. 
All right, as I did say earlier, it's quite weedy out in front of me. But I just want to give it a couple of casts. Just on the off chance the fish are tend to be laying deeper down than what I would expect just at the moment. I've also found orange to be a really good colour in here. The only problem is because the weed is so close, high up so close in, I'll have to bring the lure up rather sharpish before getting stuck on it each time. So I think I'll give it a few more casts. And then we just keep moving around and doing the same sort of thing again. So every every jetty that I go to, or every peg that I go to, I'll cast the top water. So we'll try the top layer of the water. Then we go for a crankbait or a hard bait. Try the middle layers and deeper and so on and so on. Do we get the jig head then and try try the bottom? Just to be found out where the pike are, are sitting at the moment and once we figure that out, if we figure that out it should be all gravy as they say alright, up the top end where there's almost zero wind let's see if we can get a take on the snake did not mean to rhyme there at all but if there's ever a spot where you're going to get smashed on the top water, this looks like it. something to nail it. It'd be interesting to know what the hookup rate is like on it. Well this has proven to be a bit of a bit of a ball buster. <laughs> it may for about two hours, maybe two and a half hours. I've used I'd say easy 20 different lures. I have not as so much seen a pike, sniffed one, nothing, not even a follow, a jump, anything. So I'm, uh, I'm taking the walk right round the other side and just keep going, just keep doing what we're doing, chopping and changing lures, trying different depths, different water columns, just trying to find where the pike are. They might just not be feeding today, it's just one of those days, who knows. But when you haven't done hardly any, any content, it's been 20 days from the last post of the video. Starting to feel the pressure of getting one up. Didn't sound right. Oops. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, take your take your mind out of the gutter, everyone. Um, yeah. So right to the other side, right into the top corner, and we'll just uh, keep plugging away. Excuse the pun. Okay. Right around to the top end. First cast. It's completely changed from the last time I was here. There's a lot of vegetation. The last time I was here, there was literally none of that. It was just right back to there. Which unfortunately restricts a lot of the areas that you want to cast into. A lot of the times I got a lot of my bites previous was right tight into the side. But who knows, it could be a good thing. More of an area for the pike to hide in. Just missed first pike. That was actually a decent one too. Came right out of the weeds. Ah, oh, come on, look at that to me now. Came right out of the weeds and slammed that, but completely missed it. Right behind it.
Did you see that? Did you see that? Don't come off. Please don't come off. Please don't come off. That was the craziest tick I've ever seen in my life. I actually had the lure in and I seen that pike and then it just dropped it back in the water again and he friggin' nailed it. What a tick. Oh, don't, 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 don't come off. What a tick. What a fight. Oh, oh come on. Come on, he's very lightly hooked. Oh, oh what a tick. He's really lightly hooked. Come on, girl. Oh, no, 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 no. Get in the net. <laughs> Get in. And the lure has come out in the net. <sighs> Craziest take I've ever had off a fish in my life. Oh, I'm shaking. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> wow. Hands down, the craziest bite I've ever had. I brought the lure in and I've just seen that swipe underneath it, just right up my feet at the jetty. I dropped it in and within a millisecond, bang, and then it zoomed off. 90, I think it was 92 centimeters. Not a giant, nice fish, almost a meter. Love it. On a really, really difficult day. Thanks for playing. And what a way to finish the session. I honestly thought I was going to blank. <sighs> that was really, really hard work. I had a few missed fish, a couple of, couple of takes on the frog. Obviously, the frog being the weedless frog, you, you will lose the majority of them. And I uh, had a couple of swipes, really. But, you know, other than that, it's been so slow. Four hour session. I was really starting to give up hope. Stuck on a jerk bait bringing the jerk bit in just lifted it up and I just seen the pike coming right in underneath it and all I done was flick the bail arm really quick the jerk bit dropped into the water and bang love it that's oh, it's give me such a buzz <laughs> from being so low thinking that I was going to blank and uh, and then that that's why I love fishing but anyway thanks for tuning in guys apologies there's been a bit of a delay with the videos as I said it's just things get in the way and you obviously can't always get out and make a video the baby is due in three and a half weeks. I don't know what that means for, for obviously getting a few videos done. I'll certainly do what I can and, and hopefully get out a few days here and there. Um, but yeah, as usual, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next video.